Okay, um, so Danny told me about some illegal imports that are coming into the country tonight. Drugs? No, uh, C C Cuban cigars. Those aren't illegal. Yes, they are. They are. They are. <laughs> yes, they are. But it doesn't matter, because anything that's, even if it's small, the FBI just needs something, something illegal that they can, they can use to pressure people into talking about the bigger crimes that they do. Yeah, like holding you hostage. And, and murder and extortion and anything else that Carmen Santos can get her nasty hands on. And Danny, too. What? Danny. You know, if she goes down, he goes down with her. Hey, you guys talking about me? Of course. Trust me. <laughs> Listen, someone's come up. I gotta take him off. Do you want me to take you home first? Um, no, I'm gonna hang out with you for a little bit. Don't worry, I'll make sure she takes the cab. Is it okay? Uh, yeah, of course. I mean, I'm a prisoner. You know that. So I'll just, I'll see you later. Okay? Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Are you sure you want to do this, Michelle? Yes. Yes, I have to. I am a prisoner in that house. Yeah, I you am. are, but you are starting to have feelings for your jailer, aren't you? Danny, Danny's... What? You know what? No, this isn't all... This is, this is an act, and you know, you know this is an act. Right. You know that I'm pretending to like him just so that he'll talk to me so he can trust me. Right, you don't feel guilty at all. You don't feel bad about sending him to jail. Why are you giving me a hard time about this, Drew? I get it. You think this is about Danny. And that, about, about Danny and Jesse. And once I leave oh, Danny, I'm going to go back okay, Give me some more credit here. Jesse. I am, I'm, all right, I am worried about you, okay? You're worried about me? Yes. Because I know I'm right about what I see in you and Danny. I know it. Drew, listen, this you is... You can't... This is not a great act, okay? I mean, I see the two of you together. I just saw the way you reacted when he kissed you, Michelle. That stupid, ridiculous smile you have on your face every time you're with him. He is getting to you. Why can't you admit that? All right. All right, you're right. I mean, huh. He definitely has his moments when... When I forget who he is, I forget his family, and, and when we're alone, I definitely feel guilty about what I'm doing. But, but the truth is that he's no different than his brother Mick, and he's just <laughs> happens to be better at hiding it. Okay, all right, he is different than his brother. Or at least he could be if he could... Get rid of his mother. She's driving me. Drew, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to do this because it's not like he can choose or he can he can decide where he's from or who his family is, you know, but it's not like I can live like this for the rest of my life. It's him or me, Drew. It really is. Okay. Okay. I will call the FBI under one condition. What? That you be careful. Because if he finds out what you're doing, he's going to come after you, no doubt. It's like you said, Michelle, he can't help who he is. Why are you so interested in cloning? It's just a case I'm working on. What case? Well, now that's privileged information, isn't it? But why don't you ask Josh? He should know a thing or two about cloning. How would he know anything about cloning? Well, wasn't that scientist Michael Burke? You know, the scientist that was killed at Spalding a little while ago? Wasn't he working with Josh? And as far as I can tell from these files, Michael Burke was the beginning, middle, and end of cloning research. I'm surprised Josh didn't mention it, actually. Well, he didn't. Hmm. All I know is that Alan Spaulding made a lot of ridiculous accusations about my family that were proven to be false. Well, no, they weren't exactly proven. People just thought he was crazy. Well, he is. Well, if you say so. Anyway, I'd, I'd better be going. That's a good idea. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Well, wish me luck. Bye -bye. I what? 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 I have what? To oh wait, did Ben say something to upset you? I'm sorry. Has he ever mentioned this to you before? What? Cloning. Cloning? No. Did he say he was going to use it in the trial? Are you sure he didn't say anything like that? No, this is the first time I've ever heard of it. Oh, wait a second. You know, I, I I saw the press conference with Alan. He was ranting and raving about Josh and Reva and, and clones and all that. But we thought it was a big joke. You're not laughing, Cassie. What's up? 
I can't get into this right now. I really have to go. Down. Wait a minute. Wait. I know how you feel about Ben. I'm not going to apologize for him being in my life, but I promise you, I would never tell anybody anything. You said we were sisters, right? I can trust you with anything? Of course. Good. Because I need your help with something. Something I have to stop before it destroys my family. These are for you. Now, not a word to anyone. Understand? Not a soul. Especially you know who. I have enough trouble with my mother as it is. Your mother, she doesn't let you in your bag, does she? How'd you know? <laughs> I watch, I listen. Oh, I didn't realize it was that obvious. Actually, Deets told me. Deets? Yeah, it was supposed to be expected. That's all because of Mick. I don't know what you know, grandmother, but it was an accident. Mick was attacking her. She was just defending herself. I know that, but uh, your mother, she's a... Uh... Proud and stubborn woman. No, and she wants to hurt Michelle because of it. Oh, we won't let that happen. <laughs> I don't know, ma'am. My mother can be pretty ruthless when it comes to family. Family? <laughs> can I tell you a secret? Yeah. 25 years ago, your father came to me and announced he wants to marry this loud mouth girl from the neighborhood. Huh. Carmen was her name. <laughs> You know, I was furious. You didn't like her? Well, she was too uh, ambitious, uh, too... Aggressive. Aggressive, yes, that's the word, aggressive. And uh, no, I didn't think she could make a good wife, huh? Yeah, but you've come to accept her, haven't you? Your father loved her very much. We made peace. If Michelle treats you right, huh? Your mother will come around, too. You'll see. You know about the FBI raiding the house on my wedding night, don't you? Yes. Well, Mama blames Michelle. She's convinced that she's betraying the family. What do you think? I don't know. Uh, that's not a way to start a marriage mistrusting like that. I set up a little test for her. I gave her some false information, see if the feds act on it. Mm-hmm. I need to do it. Well, then my mother's been right. Michelle's been betraying me. And if they don't? <laughs> well, then I just set a trap for my own wife. I put, I put the business and my family before my marriage. I don't know. <sighs> you are not doing this for the business or for your mother. You are doing this for you because you care about her. I see the way you look at her. I might be old, huh? But I haven't uh, forgotten what that look means. <laughs> so what, you think I shouldn't be testing her? Do you think I should trust my wife? No. You have to know. No matter how much it hurts, you have to know. Skidmore, come on! I want to use the phone! I gotta make a call! Would you calm down for No, this? no! I demand to speak to my Laura. He was supposed to be here first thing this morning. Now, could you call me already? You've got a visitor. Finally. Who is it? It's about time. Ben? Annie? Where is he? Where's Ben? He was supposed to be here first thing this morning. Look, everything, darling, is under control. You've nothing to worry about. You're going to see Ben at the trial, all right? After you left here last night, I wasn't sure if you were going to come back. I wasn't sure if I'd ever see you again. Look, I realized I should have told you about kidnapping Reva. I should have told you about the plane. I just, I figured if they didn't say anything, why should I, you know, right? You know, actually, Annie, you did us a very big favor. What are you talking about? What do you well, mean? Well, it's nothing to worry about, all right? Have you spoken to Ben? No, not today. I haven't, no. What do you mean you haven't? What, how do you know 
he's still with us. Because he's very greedy. He would never pass up my offer for Lewis Oil. Now, will you please calm down, I can't, Annie? Ellen. I'm so scared. I'm so nervous are, in this place. I can't stay in here. You know that. I know. I know. And you're not going to have to stay here very much longer, all right? I just want to go home. I want to feel safe again. I go to sleep in here every night and I have these nightmares. That I'm in this place, in this cell, and it's even smaller than this. It's so tiny. And I hear these noises. These, I don't know, these voices, and they're calling me. It's like they want me to become one of them. And I tell them to shut up and they won't stop. I keep hearing them. And then I see their faces, Alan, and they're old. They're all used up and they're in so much pain. And then I look in the mirror and I'm the exact same thing. It's me. I'm just like that. Because I can't get out of here. I'm stuck in here. I will never let you be stuck in here. You will never have to stay in here, Annie. Please know that. Promise me, Alan. No matter what, I don't care what you have to do, you'll get me out of here. Please. Please. I swear it. I swear it. Then we can get married. We can have our wedding. <laughs> Annie, nothing will get in our way of being married. Nothing, darling. Well, come on in, Reva. Oh, I already did. <laughs> you must be pretty proud of yourself. Is there a point? Alan probably gave you a huge promotion for erasing that tape, didn't he? Oh, the tape David had in your office. My right? goodness, now you're even sounding like a Spalding. I don't know what you're talking about, Reva. Bull. Is that all? Because... No. I know that you lied about the first tape. I'm here to talk about the copy. Oh, so now there's a copy. Reva, you're giving me way too much credit, okay? I'm a businesswoman, not a cat burglar. Well, I really don't know exactly who or what you are. All I know is that you're an ambitious young woman who's hiding behind a cool facade. You know, thanks for the psychoanalysis. Now, goodbye. It's not going to work, you know. What? Trying to score points with Alan. Because he'll just hang you out to dry like he does everybody else. Oh, except Annie, of course, because Annie is his one and only. It's going to be interesting to see how she weasels her way back into this house. Might get a little crowded, too, because you see, she hates competition. Especially when it comes from smart, ambitious young women like yourself, Vicky. What is it you want? I know you made a copy of that tape. I also happen to know that David Grant is a good, decent man. Who must have seen at least a spark of decency in you. You know. You know how much my family has suffered. All I'm asking is that you do the right thing. No. You're asking me to betray my family. Would you do it? I don't know. But then again, we don't have any Alan Spaldings in our clan. The kind of man who uses people and throws them away. Who enables lunatics like Annie Dutton to terrorize a family who's already been through way too much. You have the opportunity to make a difference, Vicky. It's your choice. Save your breath, Reva. Vicky's already made her choice. How can I help you? I need you to find out from Ben why he's so interested in cloning and what he knows about it. You want me to pump him for information? However you can. I, I don't understand. Look, it's a really long story and I don't really want to get into it, Blake. I'm okay, sorry. Okay, fine. That's good. But do you realize what you're asking me to do? Yes, and I shouldn't be asking you this, and I won't. Yes, okay, you know, forget no, it. Just forget it. Look, you know, isn't there another way we can do this? Why don't you just tell me what it is? Oh, Cassie, you'd feel so much better if you got it off your chest. You understand? Understand what? People who do all the wrong things for what they feel are all the right reasons. I'm sorry. That was a horrible thing I just said to you. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, funny. Uh, you could build a museum to capture all my mistakes. So then you know. I mean, you know what it's like to love someone so much that you would do absolutely anything for that love. Been there too? Yeah. So 
so have I, you know, heart and me. And so have Josh and Reva. I mean, you know how they are. They are soulmates. They would do absolutely anything to stay together, including something completely, completely unthinkable. Cassie? Like, you have to promise me that you won't tell anyone about this, especially Ben. Promise me that. Is it true? Did Josh clone Reva?